Hey guys, Matt McAvoy back again. So now that we have everything in Excel almost the way we want it, at least all of our numbers, um, now I'm just going to go over some simple formatting, make it look pretty, make it look nice, pre presentable, um, usable to show a class or to put inside of a presentation. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I know that everything that I'm using is money. I'm just going to select all the numbers up here use this simple money and we'll turn it all in uses two decimal places I don't like that so if I over here decrease decimal place and I can actually do that throughout another way you can do it is if you highlight what you're looking at and right click it you can come down to format cell and it opens up a whole bunch of stuff. You can do currency. We don't want any decimal places. Use the money sign. Hit OK. And we'll do that for the rest of these also. Just doing the quick money sign. Because that looks a little bit better. All right. And the first thing we want to do is make sure we know this is a title. So what I'm actually going to do is come up to this button and this is going to merge all those cells together and center it. And same with this. That way it just puts it right in the middle and makes it look a little bit nicer. For the actual title, um, Excel has some formats already put in. Um, if you're using 2010, these will already be showing. Um, I like to use these. They're quick and easy. Heading 1 looks really nice. Um, this will probably just bold. All of these, we're just going to center align them. Uh, we'll make them bold. Bold all of the affiliates. And we'll bold that and this. Make those stand out a little bit more. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box around all the information that you would actually change. And you can do that right up here. This is borders. Hit this uh, down arrow, gives you a bunch of options. I'm going to do a thick black border. Um, everything else I don't need to touch but if I wanted to use this for other months or different affiliates I'd be able to just come in and change this information with inside the box and everything would compute um, for the new information and I'm going to select the whole thing Give it some color just for fun. Use this little fill button. Select down. You can select it any color you really want. As you hover over it, it kind of shows you what's going on. I always like a good orange. I'm going to do orange. I'm going to take out the fill in here so that I always know the white cells are the ones that I need to change. Now you could choose just fill white then you don't have all your individual cells. And I like to see my lines to show individual cells. So I'm just going to do no fill, throw a border around here, and all of these. numbers too. And it just makes certain things pop out, um, makes it more presentable to a class or to a teacher. Um, if you need to take a screenshot or put this in a PowerPoint presentation, certain things are just going to stand out a little bit more. 
Uh, matter of fact, we might even take this, go the whole length. Same with this bottom one. Go the whole length. And there you have it. Doesn't look that bad. Um, definitely pops, has some color and life. If you wanted to, you could, you know, change a whole bunch of colors. If you do too much, it just kind of looks crazy and silly. Um, that's pretty simple and easy going. Um, most of the times, you'll see a huge border around the whole thing. Doesn't really matter. But if you hover over all these tabs on the home page, uh, there's a lot of stuff that Excel will just do for you. You can always play around with it. If you don't like anything, you can always hit the undo button and it will go back. Or if you just X out and don't save anything, um, it will just go back to what you originally saved. And you can play around with a whole bunch of uh, formatting, making it look exactly the way that you want. Um, you could put a little ledger in saying, you know, the white boxes are the ones that you need to change. Colored in boxes you don't ever need to change because they're exactly the way that you want them to be. Well, again, if you guys have any other questions, anything you want me to go over in Excel, just leave comments. I'll check these regularly. Um, say hello to us on Facebook. And if you want to know how we're able to just make simple tutorial videos and have a life, uh, check out our blog at jennifermcavoy.com. All right. See you guys. Bye.